Hello guys, so now I'm going to reformat my PC and I'm going to show you how. So first of all, um, if you've watched my part 1, you know the preparation of that I've done. Um, now this is part 2 of the video where um, I've done a few calculations for what I'm going to need for my drives and stuff. Like how what drives I'm going to need and how much size they're going to be uh, by calculating a few things. It's not a big deal. It's really, really something very small okay and uh, now I'm gonna uh, insert my operating system CD um, it's right here this one right here operating system recovery okay and I'm gonna insert it reading the drive <coughs> and yeah um, the steps you need to take is uh, most importantly disconnect everything like uh, if you have any external hard drives USB sticks um, webcams and uh, you know probably external keyboards or anything whatever you have like USB serial port or projectors whatever or you just disconnect all of them and you can have your mouse connected that's not a problem uh, you're gonna need it anyway keep your mouse connected actually and um, yeah and it's best to have some kind of a cooling system for your computer at this time like I have this over here uh, these are two fans here and one fan there um, this one blows into the processor and these two suck and uh, yeah basically this is where my processor is and uh, that gets very hot and I don't want that while it's you know installing it so it's, it's not gonna mess it up so yeah basically that's gonna help a lot and it helps a lot really and uh, the DB1000 DB2000 series have a bit of uh, overheating problems uh, so yeah that helps a lot and then uh, yeah and really be alert when you're doing this because uh, one wrong click could uh, you know mess a lot of things up so yeah basically I've uh, inserted the uh, disk here I'm gonna restart now and the next time I re now this time this is the last time I'm looking at this I'm just gonna have a look how it's looking like that looks pretty good okay now I'm gonna you know restart okay now yeah okay Okay, it's reading the, uh, there you go, press any key to boot from CD, press a key, any key, there isn't an any key, you press any key on the keyboard, just make, just making sure, it's going to take a bit of time here, it's going to do all the loading and all that, set up its loading files, uh, kernel, debugger, DLL, it says Windows setup on top, Windows setup, Loading the files. Okay. I'm gonna probably pause the video and then I'm gonna start it again when uh, it's ready. 
Okay, now it says welcome to setup. Uh, this portion of the setup program prepares Microsoft Windows XP to run on your computer. To set up Windows XP now, press enter, which is what I'm going to do. And it says to repair a Windows XP installation, we don't need that. To quit setup, we don't want to quit setup. If you really want to quit setup, you can press F3. Okay, now I'm going to press enter to set up Windows XP now. Enter. Okay, now, I'm, now it's examining my hard drive and it's doing all kinds of things required to be done okay this is the you know uh, end user license agreement for Microsoft software uh, you need to press F8 to agree if you press escape you're gonna go out of this and go to your windows okay it's gonna do a bit more of work and it's gonna get back to you okay it says what it's finding so it's found that I already have Windows XP installed so I'm gonna say to repair the selected Windows XP installation press R I don't want to repair it I don't want to remove it so to continue installing a fresh copy of Windows XP without repairing press escape so I'm gonna press escape now it takes me to all my drives I've got C D E F G H and 8 MB of unpartitioned space I'm gonna keep that there okay um so c first of all i'm gonna press okay the instructions are to set up windows xp on the selected item press enter to create a partition in the unpartitioned space press c and to delete a selected partition press d okay so i'm going to delete all of the partitions because do not delete your partitions because you may not have emptied all of them I have emptied all of them as you can see in the um, name it says EMP EMP I've emptied them okay so I'm gonna press D and it's gonna ask for confirmation to delete this partition press enter setup will prompt you for confirmation before deleting the partition I press enter now it says to delete this partition press L I'm gonna press L okay C is deleted now I go to D I press D again to delete partition now I press L to confirm now I press D to delete partition press L to confirm press D to delete partition press L to confirm press D to delete partition press L to confirm and lastly press D to delete partition and press L to confirm now I've got the whole hard drive unpartitioned space 95394 my calculations were 95211 that's not going to be a big problem I'm going to have a bit of extra space on one of the drives all right so now I'm going to start by creating a drive according to my calculations so I'm going to press C to create a new partition C now my calculation says first drive has to be 28563 megabytes now all of this is an MB so make sure you write it in MB not GB so 28563 so it's Oh, I'm going to delete this first and do 28563 megabytes. Then I'm going to press enter. Okay, so this is my C partition. It's new, it's raw, so it still needs formatting to be able to be usable. Okay, now I have 66833 remaining. 66647 remaining according to my calculation. So my second drive, I create I select unpartitioned space and I press C to create another drive. Delete everything. My second one is one six 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 one. Okay, then I press enter. That's my second drive done. My third drive is one six 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 one again so it's I press C to create then I type in one six 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 one in megabytes then I press enter now I have more remaining so now I'm gonna press C okay that's something I was talking about that shouldn't happen you have to be faster than that that really sucked. Okay, I'm going to start my PC again. I'm going to skip all the setup part. So you basically get the idea, right? 